Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I just want to show you how to use iMovie from start to finish importing and exporting a movie. So get right into iMovie and you have some options here. Down here is import project if you have some other projects already, but you're just going to want to click on create project. And that brings up two options. One is a trailer, which is from templates, but we're going to just concentrate on actually getting a movie here. So we'll press movie and you can see it goes into your moments. So this is all the stuff that is on your phone and, and that you've recorded on your phone. So you want to select the clips that you want to put into the movie. You just select each clip. If you want to have a look at the clip before, you can just hold down the clip and it will start to play the clip so you can see if that's the one that you really want to put in. But you can just choose as many as you want. You can choose videos and photos. There's a option up here to deselect if you don't want to or, or you don't want to select something or you can just tap it again to take off. So we're just going to put all of these into the timeline. So once you've selected all the ones that you want, you just go to create movie. It will then import those videos into my movie. This is the timeline here. So we'll just go on this option here if we go to the bottom right hand side of the screen, it will pop up some project settings and mostly it's just filters. So you can just change maybe the color of all the clips as you can see here, if you wanna put like a filter on there. There's also some themes as well that you might wanna try out. So there's a news theme as well if you wanna make it look like a news uh, bulletin. Fade in from black and fade out to black is at the start and the end of the movie, it will actually just have a period of darkness and it will fade into that and uh, starting from that as well but we're not going to choose those we're just going to go none so these are the these are the clips in the timeline as you can see you can scroll through them and they're just added in time order you can pinch to zoom out so you can see more of the clips or if you want more detail you can just pinch and zoom in and then it will expand that clip so what you can do is just select all the clips one by one and they come up with this yellow box around the outside and that just edit that just allows you to edit the start point and end point of the clip. So if you just uh, hold it and then drag it, you can see it just deletes all of the timeline before when you're dragging it. So if you want the clip to start maybe halfway through where you recorded it, you can just drag it to there and it will start from there. Same with the end as well. You can just edit where the end of the clip is as well. So you can make the clips uh, shorter or you can just lengthen them out to the full clip as well. Everything that you do in the timeline can be undone. This is the undo button. You can see just to the right of the play button. So you can just press that and it will undo all of your edits if you have edited them. You also have all these options down at the bottom right. So when you do select a clip, you can uh, just edit it in many different ways. Delete is obvious. It just completely deletes a clip. You can undo that and it comes back. Duplicate is obvious as well. You just duplicate that clip exactly how it was. You can undo that. Detach detaches the audio from the clip. So the video and the audio are recorded separately. You can detach the audio, you can delete the audio. You can also just press down and actually move that audio somewhere else if you just wanted the audio from that clip. So you do that just by holding down for maybe a second or two and then just moving it around. You can undo that just to snap it back into that video clip. So it's part of that clip. Also split as well. You need quite a long uh, period of video to do a split. If it's too short, then it won't split. Split is basically cutting. So you can press split and it just cuts the clip in two. As you can see, this is one long clip, but I split it in two. So this is good if you want to cut off uh, part, of an, part of a clip or you just wanna split and cut. I'm not gonna teach you about cutting in this video, but as you can see, you can just cut each part of the clip here and then you can edit the entry point and exit point of each of those clips. So that's something that is obviously really going to be useful for you that you're going to use that a lot that splitting. Then we go on to the other options at the bottom. So as we had the complete timeline uh, options in terms of the colors, you can uh, actually change each and every clip to have a different color as well. So you can see black and white, blast, blockbuster. So that will change each clip individually, not the whole project. T obviously is text, so you can just add some texts for each clip and you can press that text in the clip. You can move it around if you want and you can then just put anything you want in there and it will come up on the screen. 
This speed dial, you can slow down the footage if you want, so you can slow it right down to an eighth of the speed. And as you can see, you can actually just see the clips. It's quite slow, and then you can speed it all the way up to two times. There are also different cut effects that you can put on each of the cuts. So this line or none is just a really hard cut. So I'll show you what, what that looks like. It's just a hard cut into the next scene, but you can actually just click on the cut and then change some of the styles. So if we go to a cut like this, you can see there's a dissolve, a slide, just different styles of cuts. So rather than a hard cut into the next scene, if I choose a dissolve, you can see what that looks like. It's just more of a, well, it's a dissolve into the next scene, obviously. A slide, it's just a slide cut, so the next scene will slide in. So you've got some options. You can just click on each of the cuts and change them individually as you wish. Also, there's an option to add more media to the timeline in some certain effects that you can do. It's just this plus button up here, and it will take you through to all of your media. And then you've got these options here. So for example, picture in picture, just creates a really easy way to, to use a picture in picture. And then if you press the buttons up in the top right, you can move that picture around or you can make it larger by squeezing and put it anywhere you want, which is a pretty cool option. It might just really easy way to do it. And there's also something called a green screen as well. So if I just show you that, these options here, you have split screen as well, self-explanatory, but green screen and blue screen is pretty cool. So it will essentially, um, cut out all of the green that you have in an image. I didn't use any green screens here, but obviously the grass is green. So you can see in that image on top, it just cuts out all the green and shows the images below it. So obviously the, um, the fire hydrant is red, but the grass was green. So the green is cut away and you can see the clip underneath playing through. It's a pretty cool feature. And it's actually really easy to do. Uh, in iMovie and if you use like an editor on a computer it's it's definitely a, a little bit more complex you have to drag drag some chroma keys over the top but yeah if you want to use a green screen it's actually a really easy way to just drag the clips in and change it like that so yeah once you're done with all your clips and you've edited everything as you want then obviously you're just going to want to go and export the movie and actually turn it into a finished movie clip so just press done then you come out to this section, you can delete the iMovie file, so that will delete your whole project. The project that you're editing, all the different cuts and all the different clips in there, just gonna get deleted. You can also play, and that just shows you a preview of your finished uh, iMovie video. So that will just be exactly what it's like um, when, when you're exporting it and when you're sharing it or, or looking at it. Then you can edit go back in and edit the clips and edit everything if you're not done. So if you're halfway through, you can just press done, come out of the app, and then maybe tomorrow you can just go and edit it again. Or if you wanna finish and actually save it as a video, then you just press this button in the middle, which is share, and you get some different options. So right now, this uh, file isn't actually a video file, it's an iMovie file. And so if you share this file as it is, it's not gonna be a video, it's an iMovie file. Maybe you can share it through AirDrop to your Mac uh, or some other people if they want to edit, edit this iMovie file as well. But if you share it just as it is, it's not gonna be a video. So what you actually have to do is go to either export video or save video. That will actually turn it into a video that you can view and share. So if we just press save video, you can see it comes up with these options, this is the resolution. So usually you're gonna want like 1080p or above really. So I shot in 4K, so it has a 4K option. But just choose your definition. The, the lower the resolution, obviously the smaller the file, 4K is gonna be quite a big file. So I'm gonna choose 1080p. Doesn't take long to export this movie because it's quite short and it's, uh, you know, not it's not like 4K resolution. And it says the movie was exported to your photo library. So now, this is a movie file that you can watch and share as a video clip. So you can see if you go through to my files now, I actually have the edited clip that you can see. So it's now a movie file. And then you can go into here and share this with whoever you want. If you wanna send it through iMessages or WhatsApp or anything, this will be a video file now that you can share. 
Anyway, that's iMovie start to finish editing and exporting a clip. Hope it was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, give me a sub and I will see you in the next one.